Hello everybody, my name is Ilse, coming at you from hobbycare.com. I am, oh my god, don't look at my bed. <laughs> I am coming at you gorilla style today on my phone because I didn't have time to charge my camera. But uh, today I'm gonna have a vlog for you with uh, various things. So this is on the agenda this time. Number one, I'm gonna take you to see the Spau Dragon Ball collection that came out uh, last week. I didn't try on anything because it's all t-shirts and stuff, but I figured some of you would like to see that. So that's where we're going first. Then we're gonna go to do some gachapon. I don't know what I'm gonna play yet, but but I'm going to go see what I can get and I'll show you the store where I do that in. And finally, we are going to watch Detective Pikachu. It uh, premieres today in Seoul, so we're gonna do that. I'm gonna show you if there's any decorations or anything. And there's also like a special um, combo that you can get that I wanna show you as well. So without further ado, let's go do all those things. Hello everyone, uh, this is voiceover Ilse, I don't know why I felt like doing this today. But as you can see we are in Spau here, I did another video on their Captor Sakura collection and this time they have a Dragon Ball collection as you can see. Like the Card Captor Sakura collection, it's not really anything special, it's mostly just t-shirts with logos and stuff but it is nice to look at and it's nice that it's super accessible um, obviously not if you're not out like uh, in Korea but it's accessible in Korea or very mainstream so there's all kinds of clothes shirts shorts and a pajama set that looks like uh, Goku's uniform and as you can see we have a Frieza t-shirt here the prices are in my opinion quite high this is around $18 for the t-shirt, which is not that bad, but I don't think that the quality in Spau is that good. As you can see, these shirts are just super simple, like straight up one color and a phrase. Uh, not That's why I think the price isn't exactly justified, because you're not getting much. It's the most basic colored t-shirts with a tiny printed emblem or a symbol, and that's it. I really like the blue ones, they're really cute. And here are the pajama sets. Uh, there's also an event going on that if you spend over a certain amount, you get a sock collection. The hats were really cool. I feel silly that I didn't show you the back of the the front. I don't know how, do you, how you call that part, but they all had really cool details underneath. So, I thought this was the best part of the collection, and here are the socks that I mentioned before. And just look at this! Imagine having your baby looking like this. It would be the most adorable thing in the world. And finally, this is a little station where you can go in and um, place yourself as if you were the character. So, I really like that Spau has these kinds of decorations. They have similar stuff for the card Captor Sakura. And now we are on our way to the Gachapon store. This is my favorite anime store in the Gangnam area. They have a lot of stuff. It's not my favorite anime store in all of Seoul, but it's my favorite store in Gangnam and it's like a 10 minute walk from my house. So I really like that. As you can see, it's super, super decorated. And honestly, the first time I saw this place, it took my breath away. I couldn't believe that a place like this existed. And in Seoul, I mean. They have all kinds of stuff, as you can see here. They mostly have idol anime stuff, so a lot of Love Live, a lot of um, Idol Master, uh, King of Prism, stuff like that. And I love their decorations. I had put a picture of their Magikarp uh, bonfire 
in my Instagram before. I love it. Now we have all kinds of gachapon. It's kind of weird though, considering how many they have, I couldn't really find any that I really wanted to do. But they do have lots and lots. Uh, they are pretty updated to what's available in Japan. So if you are looking for something current, they tend to have the newer releases. Although they have more stuff in the original branch of this particular store, but that's like an hour and a half away from my house. So I have to settle for this. At this moment, I was looking to see what I was going to do. And I settled, of course, on Fate Extella because I love Fate. You get these special coins instead of, like you trade regular coins for these. And they have these two lines that you have to line up. And I was having clearly a hard time doing it. It's a little hard, sometimes they don't really fit. So I was doing my best. And finally, we turn it and here is our prize. This was really expensive. It was 5,000 won, so around $5 for this. But alas, there was nothing else I wanted to do and I had the change to spend. Now we are going to see Detective Pikachu. Here we are in the movie theater. We have this cute, cute poster. As I had mentioned, they have a special event going on, so you can buy this Pokemon cake cup. <laughs> and you can also buy the cake in its entirety. But I thought it was so cute that they had so much selection. And I love pink. I, I thought Ditto looked so cute. So that's who I got. My friend got Snorlax. By the way, Snorlax in Korean is called Jamambo, and Ditto is called Metamong. <laughs> so I think that's really cute. And yeah, I thought the packaging was adorable, the cups were so adorable. And thankfully the cake pieces are detachable so you can have them as a separate figure. So right now we're just placing the straws and then I will show you the unboxing of the actual figure part of the cups. I felt so sad that my friend defiled the box like this. I kept mine because I thought it was so adorable. So here's the figure itself. I wish I had taken a close-up of it. But yeah, you just place it on top of the cup like this. And it's not all. You can also turn on the candle, which is super cute. I thought it was such a neat touch. For anyone that got the whole cake, I bet that looks really, really cute. And here you have both of our cups with Ditto and Snorlax. Hello everybody, I am back from the movie and everything. Um, I enjoyed it. It was cute, it was entertaining, I feel like it... You know, it was a good time, um, but it wasn't extraordinary. And I did feel like it could have had more Pokemon in it. Like, I felt like there was a lack of Pokemon and a lack of like diversity in the Pokemon. I feel like they could have had many other types and feature many other um, like species or whatever, but it just felt like they limited themselves to very, very few Pokemon. And that kind of took away from the experience for me. Um, the plot itself and like the characters were super like uni unidimensional, um, super like cardboardy, like you can tell not that much thought was put into the script um, and things developed like super quickly and things happened like really conveniently. So it was a very simple movie in that sense, but it was still really nice. And I'll be honest, I was 100% a, a non-believer when the trailer came out. I thought Pikachu looked gross. I thought it was gonna be like the worst. I, I thought the, vo the voice was gross, like him having a deep voice was gross. But honestly, like Pikachu looks so adorable in the movie. I could not 
handle it. So that was worth it. And the voice really grew on me. I really, really enjoyed that aspect. So I recommend you go watch it if you have the chance. Uh, it's definitely a good time. I don't, like, I doubt, I hope it's not gonna become like a sequel. It was a nice one-off thing and it wasn't like Netflix adaptation levels of bad, which is something that could have happened easily. That was it for today. Uh, thank you for watching as always. Don't forget to go to www.hobbycare.com and follow me on Instagram at hobby.kr. I will be back next week with a new video. Goodbye!